So, example number 3, letter A. We have y cube is equal to 3x. So, dito, ang kukunin lang natin is the cube root of the both hand sides of the equation. Since wala naman ang kasamang ibang term si y cube on the left hand side of the equation. So, getting the cube root of both hand sides of the equation. Cube root of y cube is equal to cube root of 3x. So, cube root of y cube now is equal to y. And then, on the right-hand side of the equation, we have cube root of 3x. So, dito, kung hindi ka sure kung isa lang ba yung value ng y, mag-substitute tayo ng value ng x. If x is equal to 9, then y now is equal to cube root of 3 times 9. Simplifying this, meron na tayong y is equal to cube root of positive 27. And then the cube root of positive 27 is positive 3. Since isa lang yung value ng y natin, therefore this equation is a function. For example, 3 letter b, we have y raised to 4 is equal to 2x. Again, ang kakailanganin na lang natin dito is to get the fourth truth of both hand sides of the equation. So, magiging fourth truth of y raised to 4 is equal to fourth truth of 2x. Simplifying this, our equation now will become y is equal to fourth truth of 2x. Again, kung hindi ka pa rin sure, magbigay tayo ng value ng x. So, let's say x is equal to positive 8. If x is equal to positive 8, then y now is equal to fourth root of 2 times 8. Simplifying 2 times 8, y now is equal to fourth root of 16. And then the fourth root of 16, meron tayong magiging dalawang value. Ano ba yung number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya ng apat na beses, ang lalabas sa sagot is positive 16. So, meron tayong dalawang sagot, and that is positive and negative 2. Kapag si positive 2 ni raise natin by 4, the answer is positive 16. Kapag si negative 2 naman ni raise natin by 4, the answer is still positive 16. Paano yun? Kapag positive 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, the answer is 16. Kapag negative 2 naman, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. So, yung magiging value ng y natin is dalawa, positive and negative 2. Therefore, this example is not a function. So, let's have a summary doon sa binigay natin mga example from part 1. By the definition of function, ang sabi, for every value of x, there should be an exactly one value of y. So, para mas madalian kayo, tingnan yung exponent ng y natin. Kung mapapansin nyo, if the exponent of y is an odd number, then the equation is function. Nasaan ba dito yung mga value ng y na may exponent na odd number? Si example number 1, letter a, ang exponent niya ay 1, which is an odd number. Example number 1, letter b, ang exponent ng y is still 1 which is an odd number. And then example number 3, letter A, the exponent of y is positive 3, which is still an odd number. So lahat ng odd number, ang answer natin is function. Kapag naman ang exponent natin is even number, then the equation is not a function. So for an example number 2, letter A, the exponent is positive 2. This is even number. 
and then therefore, the equation is not a function. For example, number 2, letter B, the exponent is still positive to an even number, therefore, this equation is not a function. And then for example, number 3, letter B, the exponent is positive 4. And then positive 4 is an even number, therefore, this equation is not a function. So, yun lang yung tatandaan nyo. Kapag yung exponent ng y natin is an odd number, therefore, the equation is a function. Kapag naman, ang exponent ng y natin is an even number, therefore, the equation is not a function. So, let's have number 4, letter A. Ang titignan lang is yung exponent ni y. Since the exponent of y is 1, which is an odd number, therefore, this equation is a function. Next, for letter B, since the exponent is an even number, therefore, this equation is not a function. For letter C, the exponent of y is positive 1, which is an odd number, therefore, this is a function. For letter D, since the exponent of y is an even number, therefore, this is not a function. For letter E, letter F, and letter G, pwede nyong i-pause muna yung video na ito and then sagutan kung function ba siya or not a function. And then the answer for E, F, and G. For letter E, this is not a function. For letter F, this is a function. And then for letter G, this is a function.